Alberta Distillers was founded in 1946, so it's actually one of the, the older of the, the big distilleries in Canada. Um, it's currently owned by Beam Suntory, so um, you get uh, actually quite a lot of the production of the Alberta Distillery, which is, you know, it's one of the bigger distilleries in Canada, um, goes, uh, gets sold in bulk to the U.S. actually. Um, so, kind of interesting. You see a lot of Jim Beam brands like Basil Hayden's. If you read the labels carefully, they're not American whiskey and a lot of the rye that they use. Um, some of it comes from Alberta. So, um, also, for instance, Canadian Club, 100% rye. It's a Canadian Club brand. Canadian Club is owned by Jim Beam. Most Canadian Club whiskeys are made at Hiram Walker Distillery in Windsor, Ontario. Canadian Club 100% rye is made at um, the Alberta Distillers uh, facility. So, um, pretty interesting. It's located in Calgary. Uh, so pretty interesting from that perspective. Um, they always talk about <laughs> the uh, the, gla the glacier water, and it is glacier water, um, and, and you know everything that's special about it. But it is city water, which there's no problem with that. Um, tons and tons of distillers use city water and um, works really well. I mean, any distillery located near a big city, you know, uses city water. City water is great, so no problem with that. But I just, I always think it's funny how water sometimes is marketed um, in certain ways. So there's other big distillers in Canada that also use city water as well. So, and craft distilleries, everything, not a problem. Um, so Alberta Distillers, um, a really interesting distillery. They specialize in making rye. Um, and they're huge. <laughs> so, as of a few years ago, they made three times more rye whiskey than the rest of North America combined. So, massive, massive, massive purchaser, producer of rye whiskey. They're the only uh, Canadian distiller to make a, a base whiskey out of rye, which is interesting because base whiskeys have, um, you know, you tend to have a very light character and you're distilling a lot of flavor out of the grain and so why wouldn't you use the cheapest grain corn um, but uh, Alberta uses use rye as, as one of their base whiskeys so um, and the the facility is built to to make rye really well and um, most people would would say it's the you know the greatest rye distillery in the world lots of experts claim that to be the case uh, they certainly make the best rye that I've ever tasted. <laughs> so, um, pretty unique from that perspective. They um, do some interesting things. They they use unmalted rye, and they make a lot of 100% unmalted rye whiskeys. Uh, the way they do this is through the use of enzymes, which are used throughout the whiskey industry. Um, Alberta actually grows their own in-house, so kind of like some distillers will propagate their own yeast. Um, Alberta actually propagates their own enzyme. And why this is important is it helps, uh, there's two things. Um, one is it helps liquefy um, uh, the slurry, I guess, of grain and water as, as you're, you know, making your beer. Um, and that's really important because otherwise it can just gum up all your equipment. And then it also um, helps, you know, obviously converts the starch to sugar. So really important the function of those enzymes to produce rye whiskey. And um, they use column stills. They also have a batch kettle, which they can operate as a pot still. So you get column distilled rye, and you get rye that's also um, pot distilled coming out of Alberta. Um, the, the big brand is Alberta Premium, which would be the biggest all rye brand in the world. Um, pretty light whiskey. It's not, uh, there's some rye character to it. <clears throat> but it's not a big dominant rye. It's more like a softer classic Canadian whiskey. Um, but they they make a whole a whole wide range <laughs> of products. Um, a lot of their best stuff actually isn't bottled by them, but is bottled by independent bottlers. So whiskeys like Masterson's, um, you know, they would purchase whiskey from Alberta and sell it. Um, Whistle Pig. Um, a lot of Whistle Pig's rye comes from Alberta. If you ever see on the label imported from Canada, it's coming from Alberta. Same with the 100% rye. The 100% rye that 
whistle pig uses comes from Alberta. So a ton of whistle pigs brand has been based on Alberta rye whiskey. You have other ones, Hofstadter's, um, at least the family reserve comes from Alberta. Um, Lock, Stock and Barrel 16 year old, which um, probably my favorite whiskey ever <laughs> is, uh, um, comes from Alberta as well. It's an independent bottler. But every now and then, Alberta comes out and they release these these really interesting whiskeys. They really, um, you know, hit the scene with a 30 year old, a 30 year old 100% rye whiskey. Um, and this was, uh, you know, a, I think probably close to a decade ago um, for 50 bucks. <laughs> so you don't see 30 year old ryes like that very often. Um, a stunner of a whiskey, uh, very, um, pretty light. Um, but actually what I liked more is a few years earlier, they released the 20, a 25 year old, which was so complex and leathery. Um, one of my all time favorite Canadian whiskeys. And it was something like 30 bucks. <laughs> so in sort of the early, you know, 2008 ish, I think around that time. Um, so um, pretty interesting. Those those two whiskeys were so far away from your standard Alberta premium, um, and really kind of demonstrated a bit of what the distillery could do. Um, these days, Alberta's um, started to push some of their own brands forward as well. So recently, they've been releasing a Cask Strength Edition. Um, so again, it's the same bottle as Alberta Premium, but you know this last year it was 63.7 percent it was 66 previously kind of around then so um pretty hot <laughs> and um uh a bit of a different profile than some of the other risers are actually quite a you know broad range of of rye flavor that comes out of alberta depending on on what they're making um but they're all really good um, alberta doesn't just distill rye even though that's their specialty they also use wheat, they use triticale, they use unmalted barley um, as a flavoring whiskey. So if you ever have the chance to taste Masterson's 10-year-old uh, straight barley whiskey, you should. Um, I'll taste it in the next video. Um, one of the most unique whiskeys that I've ever had, and one of my favorites. Um, and uh, yeah, so they, they, they do a lot, and it's not a, a distillery that you, you know, might notice very much or you know in connoisseur circles obviously it's talked about quite a bit but there's no tours pretty inaccessible hard to know what's going on um but the whiskey's fantastic and it's it's kind of too bad alberta themselves hasn't pushed the brand further and then a lot of the best of their whiskey we have to get through independent bottlers from the states um but uh but they're they're certainly worth trying so I guess final note I would add, um, I think <laughs> there's, there's two spirit streams in Canada that I think just are absolute, you know, top of the line for Canadian whiskey. Not that there's, you know, there's tons of really good Canadian whiskeys, but if someone was to ask me what's the best whiskey in Canada, there's two contenders. Um, one is the coffee rye from Crown Royal, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, Davin and I, Davin de Kurgamo and I had this debate <laughs> a few uh, a few months ago, um, and uh, yeah, Coffee Rise was his pick, and I think that's uh, on some days I might lean that way, um, but the Potsdam Rye coming from Alberta is just amazing. It's just such an interesting, complex, rich whiskey. It's my favorite. Um, I think it's you know the best. Well, I should say it's it's my favorite um, kind of. If I could have one whiskey that was made in Canada, it would be that one. The coffee rye would be a contender as well. But um, but yeah, so really really good, um, really complex. It has that rye has a bit of a medicinal component, so kind of like peated scotch is sometimes have a medicinal component. Um, so it's fascinating. <laughs> so um, try it. The, an example of it would be Masterson's. Whistle pig is another example of it. Um, some of the whistle pigs are better than the others. Um, and uh, like lock, stock, and barrel as well, as I said, um, or Hawkstadter's family reserve. Those are also examples of, of that. You get some 
like the Alberta <laughs> part in the glasses, the Alberta um, calf strength um, has a bit of that, but it, it also has a very, very bright, super fruity, orangey um, rye character to it, like the Canadian Club 100% rye, which um, it's very interesting, very unique. Um, it's not quite the same in terms of, that's not the, what I'm talking about when I talk about, you know, the, the, the rye that I, I really like. There's, um, you know, yeah, there's a lot of rye <laughs> made in Alberta. And on that note, um, we'll crack into a few of these and taste them uh, in the next video.